Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about expeditions and should you be buying them right now, I have a few expeditions to show you. Hopefully you can see it and the glare is not too bad. Well, no, these are horses for Princess Cube. And yeah, so pretty much two wastelands. I think these are two wastelands. Um, Bloodstained, Misty, and then Sacred Foundries and Overgrown Tombs. I am finding them extremely easy to trade right now and I do feel like they will get cheaper in price. And let me explain why they are going to get cheaper in price. Expeditions are money. They're just money. And when Magic players have to deal with money, they pretty much always go for the next set. And Eternal Masters came out. A lot of people had to sell expeditions to buy boxes of Eternal Masters. When I mean have to, I kind of use that term loosely. But for the most part, you have another set coming out. You have Conspiracy 2, you have Eldritch Moon. People have been financially exhausted by Wizards of the Coast by design. Um, again, they have stated in their marketing research that they want to take as much money, they want to make as much money from individual Magic players as possible. And that's true for the large majority of companies, except they just don't state that. Um, you know, desperate, right? So. Expeditions, I've seen a price and drop, and more importantly, price, again, is in the secondary. It's a secondary thing I look at. The one thing I look at is how liquid a card is. How easy is it for me to get rid of it? How easy is it for me to trade it away? And these cards are becoming easier to acquire and less liquid. Now, let me explain why that's such a big deal when you're dealing with $100 cards. Well, when a card is easier to acquire, it means people kind of want to get rid of it. And if people want to get rid of it, it's either an opportunity, it's an opportunity to pick them up. So in these Festland scenarios and Expedition scenarios, you could almost never trade an Expedition for anything in Standard except for another Expedition. And even considering them part of Standard is kind of, I mean, you might argue they're not. One of the things that I will say is happening right now is people are willing to trade me for a playset of Gideon, Ally of Zendikar, I can get an equal value expedition. In the very beginning, there was no way that would be considered an epic trade down. Now it's considered equal in my local game store. That means expeditions are moving out. And there's people, what are people trading expeditions into? Internal masters. Um, they're tra trading it into Eternal masters, but that's okay because Eternal masters for all intents and purposes for me personally is kind of like kind of like a standard set. I got a few boxes and none of the stuff I really want to keep. Now, interesting things are going to happen very soon in July. Aldrich Moon is going to come out. So people have exhausted all their money. They have. Like I will tell you, most people in my local game store are Financially, for Magic cards, hobby-wise, they've spent so much money. I had a friend, and you saw the videos in this channel, he bought, I think, 10 cases of Battle for Zendikar to get these expeditions. And then after Battle for Zendikar was over, he went to buy more cases of Eternal Masters. So people are absolutely exhausted in money, and they need stuff to sell to buy Eldritch Moon. Because it's not like they're not going to buy stuff from Eldritch Moon. Eldritch Moon is an actual set. Eternal Masters was not. It's a secondary, it's a reprint set. So it is a set driven by money. Then we have Commander 2016, which is going to hit the casual audience probably the hardest and their wallets are going to hurt a little bit, if not a lot, depending on who you want to get all five decks, four color decks, right? Yeah, yes for hype. Um, and then Eldritch Moon is being hyped like crazy right now as well. So you have a scenario um, where people have spent so much money, they just don't have more cash to put into the game. So they have to exit out. And what is, what is the card that they can exit out from? Can they exit out from Eternal Masters? No, it's too recent. Can they exit out from uh, Standard? No, because A, it doesn't make any sense because they need their Standard cards when they get the Eldritch Moon out. And secondly, the prices of standard are the lowest they've been in a long time. So having, you know, th there's not a valuable, there's not Jace Prodigy that will exit out at a good buy list price right now. Buy list prices are, for the large part in standard, way below 50% on most cards. Outside of your Avacyn, your Gideons, and your Nissas, even Nissa is taking a beating right now. 
So uh, when you add all of this up, you get X for distance people are willing to trade away, which is something I've not seen before. Uh, expeditions where people will trade this for cards that are currently being sold, um, such as Eternal Masters. So yes, it's limited edition, but my store still has boxes of it. Uh, at $265 a box, it still has a large chunk of cards. So expeditions are, you know, I would never imagine Wasteland, someone trading me Wasteland for uh, something I could get at a booster pack. I mean, I traded for like a Jace, the Mind Sculptor, which is still Jace, but it's a reprint from a booster pack for an expedition. I, so there will be a period of time, especially in Eldritch Moon, where I believe you can trade new Eldritch Moon cards straight up for value for expedition. Expedition. I'm not positive, but I'm almost certain that's going to happen because I've seen this already for, hey, do you... Misty Rainforest. I traded for like... Uh, some combination of Eternal Masters and uh, what was the other set? And um, Shadows Over Innistrad cards. I traded a few Alversons and a, a, a few Gideons and then Eternal Masters, a Foil Gamble, as well as a uh, something like an Enlightened Tutor or two. And then that got me a Misty Rainforest. I did overvalue the trade by $10, but for an Expedition, that's very, very good. And that's not something I would have uh, expected happening. But it is, I mean, it is. So, bye guys.